Hi everybody, how you doing? Mark here. Hope you're doing well. Uh, this is, as you can probably tell, a recorded video that I'm doing. Uh, if you saw my last haul video, which would have been Saturday night, Sunday morning, I had a few bits and pieces that I, because of time, I couldn't show you what I actually got. I sort of like flashed them up and went, these are posters and this is something else. And... So I, I couldn't actually, I didn't actually have enough time to show you guys what I actually got. So like I did last time with uh, my haul video before that, where I had a load of posters and other bits and pieces like like um, chocolate eggs, things with toys inside. I thought I'd, I'd do a little video like this to show you guys what I got. Now, first of all, is the... Oh, cool. Uh, first of all, is the posters that I was given by guys of Forbidden Planet. And the first one is absolutely awesome, actually. It's the, the poster, advertising poster for the cover of Amazing Spider Man 1.5. And uh, I don't know if I can actually show you like this. There you go. How cool is that? Pretty cool. So there's that. I mean, these these posters, I I know what I know what uh, one of them was. I know one of them was a Scotty Young poster, but I don't. I can't remember what the other two was. I think he said one of them was a Wolverine one. I didn't even realise that that was the Amazing Spider-Man 1.5 cover, the Alex Ross cover. That was pretty cool. Uh, ah, here we go. I think this is the. I can undo it, without damaging anything. This is the Scotty Young cover for The Land of Oz. There you go. Pretty cool. Nice. trying to fold them up back to the way they were and then finally for the posters we have got oh, awesome. the uh get yeah, doing really well these alex ross posters the alex ross poster for wolverine there you go Pretty cool, what? So there you go, that was the, the posters that I got from, it's, it's basically the advertising posters that they would have put up or had put up in the comic shop and and they would have just chucked them away in the bin. So not only am I doing my bit for the environment, but I'm also doing my bit for my comic book collection, which is, which is even better. It says that, and, and, I also picked these up as well. They're, they're sort of blind boxes, and they are, if you can see them, uh, Doctor Who micro figures with display box. A bit like a certain brick toy that had a movie just recently. And I got, I don't think they are, I don't think it's accessible actually. I got some Looney Tune ones like this a few months ago so i picked up three of these doctor who ones this is from the the 11th doctor so let's have a look so we've got trusty swiss army knife oh, hello. oh hello purdy purdy's come to see what we've got and to sit on everything, cool. There we go, there's that, let's put that back. Right, so, the first one we have of these. Okay. The, uh, the bottom come off quite easily. Yes, it did, didn't it? It came off quite easily then, didn't it, Purdy? You can hear if she's just, just sat here. 
and we've got a bag. And there's the cardboard insert for that, which is just yeah, nothing, nothing that interesting. Now we have. Oh, cool. So, okay. Uh, you've got the 12th Doctor regeneration, so the 12th Doctor's head with the 11th Doctor's body on it. You've got the 12th Doctor in all his usual normal stuff. The 11th Doctor from the, you know, the, the, uh, the last episode that he was in. You've got Oswin Oswald, which is basically Jenna Coleman in the red dress from the um, the episode of the Dalek Planet, where she, we find out she's actually a, a Dalek. Uh, you've got Madame Vastra, the War Doctor, uh, Clara Oswald, Strax, Captain Jack Harkness, a Zygon, a Dalek, Dalek Ironside, and a Cyberman. So that's all the things you can get. So, and then there's a little to show you what you can get as well. There you go. Let's have a look, see what we've got. And it looks like I've got, oh, cool. Looks like I've got a Cyberman. This is how they turn out, this is how they appear. I don't know if you can see that. Yep. In bits, three bits. And if you've ever played with Lego or anything like that before, you'll know legs go onto body. Head goes onto body, and there you go. There's some articulation. There's artic. Uh, there's a, a little ball joint. I don't know if you can see that. If I do that, a ball joint in the wrist. Yeah, uh, the arms, both arms move, and there's some movement in the legs as well. I'll do that. Okay. So you can uh, you can have him sitting down or standing up, and then what you're supposed to do is, once you've posed them in the way you want to pose them, you've got the base, which has got a little two little things there. You've got the two little things there for the feet. There we go. So there you go, you're standing on the base, yep. And then you get your plastic case, put it over the top, and there you have your Cyberman. So there you go, there's that one. Let's just tidy that away. Next one. You right, baby? No. Yeah, she's asleep. Swiss Army knife again. Hopefully, if you saw my last few videos like I did with it like this, where I've had these like Kinder egg chocolate things with Spider Man. I haven't been that lucky with them. I think the last one I did, I ended up getting three eggs with exactly the same thing in it. So hopefully, I don't get three Cybermen. You know what? I think I spoke too soon. It's another Cyberman. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. How unlucky can you get? Um. Oh man. Two Cybermen. Right. Again, let's get rid of all this. Look at my knife, there is. <sighs> Fingers crossed, I don't get another Cyberman. I'd be happy with a, with a Zygon or a Dalek or any of the Doctors, or anything like that. There we go. Oh, oh, oh! 
Oh, do you know what? I think I might be in luck. I think I might be in luck. I think this is the Dalek Ironside from the It is. It's, oh, it is the Dalek Ironside. And I just dropped everything everywhere. Because <laughs> the bag popped instead of opening. So that's what you got with the Dalek Ironside, if you can see that. Yep. And then you just put it to, all together. I'll have to do this like this. Wait! Stop having bits that fall all over the place. So you've got that bit, and I'll take it that bit goes on top of this bit, like so. Then you've got your, I can never remember, I think it's the plunger on the right side, and the laser gun on the left. Is that about, is that about right for you? That's right. And then you've got that bit, which goes on top of this, like so. Then you have the top, which goes on top of there, like that. And then you've got the eye stalk, which is actually what it's called, it's called a Dalek eye stalk. If you look in Doctor Who books and such, it'll actually describe it as an eye stalk. There you go, and then that goes on this base. And now, to me, it would be better if it would be because everything else goes that way, so you can see it face on. To me, it would say. From that way. That way. No. Let's put it that way. So then that goes on like that. And there you have a Dalek iron side. The only problem with that Dalek is you can see it's, it's facing that way. Everything else is facing that way. So if you stick it on like that. Oop. <laughs> Oh, do come on. Which is what you get for not having any decent editing software. Or not knowing how to use editing software. So, <laughs> there. So then you've got the Cyberman facing that way, but the Daleks facing the other way. You can see that. See? Daleks facing that way. Cyberman's facing that way. Ah. So there you go. That's what I got. Two Cybermen and a Dalek. Not too bad, I suppose. There you go. That was the great mystery that was what posters and what Doctor Who things I got. Um, that's it. I've got nothing else to show you just yet. Everything else that turned up today or I picked up today, I will be showing you in my next haul video, which will be probably in a couple of weeks' time. Because it takes me about two weeks to get over each one of them. <laughs> it does, doesn't it, Purdy? Yeah. Well, thank you for watching. If you've got any information about the posters that I showed you, or these things here, or anything, or you just want to say hello, comment section down below. Always great to read your comments, and uh, I always try to answer back the comments. Uh, if you like the video, thumbs up great stuff if you really like the video subscribe here somewhere here 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 just here yes um keep on moving around just here yeah so subscribe if you really liked it but if you didn't like it feel free to thumbs down as i always say at the end of these videos if you do thumbs down though say why you thumbs down it's yeah that's not that hard it's the only way i learn how to make these videos better so everybody can enjoy them or most people can join. <sighs>
Right, that's it. That's, that just leaves me to say thank you for watching. Enjoy the comics. They love the comics that you read and all the little bits and bobs that you get with your hobby. And I'll see you soon. Ta-ta for now.